Now I need to put that somewhere so I don't forget it. So you can rest it up there nicely. Okay, so in this part, we may need to have some tools. Now I've got a solder sucker here. This literally is like a pump. And if we need to remove any solder, we've got one of those. Obviously we definitely need a soldering iron. And I always recommend, there's a great video, I'll put the link in down, how do I do it? That way, down below, to a great solder uh, video. He's an, a fellow Australian, a mate, not a mate of mine, but a fellow Australian. And you can see I've actually got a chisel tip, solder chisel tip. You can see the actual tip is not a point, it's, a, it's like a splayed, a flat tip. Um, the type of soldering iron I've got is a variable temperature soldering iron, and they're always good because they control. And also this stuff here, which is called a, a wick, a solder wick, is good for cleaning solder off a circuit board as well so it's always good to have these around and obviously you're probably going to need some solder so this is just a standard solder that you buy from any sort of electronic store um, it, this is Australian but it could be made overseas who knows one thing that I do though is it definitely has to be no bigger than 0.5 millimeters okay and um, you can get, well quite commonly you can get solder that's a lot thicker than that for example. I think I've got one here. So that one is one millimeter solder and you can see it's literally so much thicker. And the reason why you want a thinner solder is because this thicker one is just going to spew solder all over your circuit. and. Whereas this one, you can control it more. There's less solder at the point, And as you put pressure on it, it will melt more. So you can control more solder coming out. So that's a pretty handy tip. All right, let's turn our soldering iron on. And wish me luck, guys, because I've never done this before and I could completely ruin my DX, sorry, my AN200. Okay, so looking at this here, let's have a quick look in the camera. Um, so this is the component here that we're going to replace. And let's just make sure that we definitely have the right component from Yamaha. But this is always a good idea. I mean, we've got all the screws out. Yeah, it's no big deal. We can put it all back together. And, and it still kind of works if we have to put up with it. But let's have a look. This is the part, the brand new part from Yamaha. And I'll just slowly just around for everyone to see. And you can see those three connectors there and then there's two more here. So all in all is five connectors. Um, I have no idea. There's no data sheet that comes with this so I actually don't have any idea what each of those connectors do but I would imagine one would be some sort of power connection and ground and the other one may be a data connection. Okay, so if we look at this on the board here, that's a better shot. And then we can bring that all next to it. And we can see that it's absolutely identical. One thing I've noticed too, it comes with a little, a little nut and a washer, and that doesn't, so we don't need that. We can just unscrew that. Thanks Yamaha for the freebies, but we don't need you. Aside. I might just pop it back in the parts bag. I am going to actually pull the broken one apart later. I might, probably won't do it on video, but I'm going to pull this one apart and see if it literally is worn or if it's a cleaning issue. Because I've just noticed, and I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually kind of grubby. Like there's little bits of a little thing off here. You can see there's little bits of fluff there. Can you guys see that? I can see it just in the light there. Moving around. Just around the shaft here there's little bits of fluff. And who knows, it just might be full of gunk. And it might have just been um, something very simple to clean. Alright, so we know... So 
something else I've just noticed too. It looks like this circuit board actually has space for more. The pin layouts are almost identical. Look at that, you've got three there. No, can't be. I don't know what they're for. Anyway, it does say SW1 and SW8, so perhaps they're related to these switches. You know, so it might be some sort of testing port. So we need to unsolder or desolder those three there and those two there. Definitely those two. They're the side pieces and those three are the top pieces. Okay. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? You're nervous with me, aren't you guys? I can tell you are. I can tell a lot of you are just laughing at how pathetic I am. Alright, so here we go. So somehow we, we're going to need to... I feel we're going to need to have to pull this off somehow as we're doing it. We might need to actually do this maybe... Because, hmm. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get that out at the same time as that. I'm going to need to be able to pull that out somehow. We'll just see anyway. So, it actually just clicks in and you can see it's all come through on the side. So this is the side we need to solder. Okay. I'm going to do these and you hold the solder iron on the tip. Okay, I think that's done. So let's have a close look. Where are we here? So, these two points here, this one and this one are our lugs, and these are our three prongs. And you can see, I mean, that's relatively good. Probably a little hole there that I'd like to fill up. It looks very well seated in the. Like it's going to fall off easily. I kind of butchered that as it came out. That. Yeah, it's quite interesting. That's the inside. There we go. There we go. So you can see that's the inside of the data encoder. And on the other side of these two little copper prongs. So who knows? Possibly could be okay, but for now we'll just dispose of it. In our old parts bag. Bye bye.
All right. Put all the knobs back on. Okay, so now it's the time for vindication. Let's see if we've fixed our problem. I need for it to boot up. Okay, let's try. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that is beautiful. Every single click. That's really cool. Alright guys, well this ends this part of the repair. I might do another quick video just demoing this unit here so you can have a listen. See you on the other side. Thanks for watching.